Well, two of the top teams in the Big South met in men's hoops here in the Deadman Center on this Monday night, and it was the Radford Highlanders surviving in overtime 59-57 over the Liberty Flames. Alongside Paul Nazigan, my name is Nick Pierce. Tough one to swallow here tonight for the Flames as they drop their second straight and fall to 3-3 three and three in the Big South. Liberty led by seven at halftime, 25-18 over Radford, a defensive clinic in the first half. But we saw the Highlanders come back in the second half, Paul, and took the lead. The Flames went back in front late, but really offensive struggles tonight for Liberty in the second half until late in that half, Georgie Pacheco-Ortiz then hitting a three-pointer to send the game into overtime. And then the Flames just fall short by a couple of points in the end. A lot to talk about yeah, here. Say. <laughs> a lot to try to digest. <laughs> Where do you start with a game yeah. like this? I mean, it's back and forth pretty much the whole way. But ultimately, an, another hard-fought game, but a, a loss here for the Flames. Well, I think you start right there, hard-fought. Um, you know, the effort tonight was a lot more along the lines of what Coach wants out of the guys. You know, you come out of uh, this, that stinging loss Friday night, and Coach really challenged the team. And the guys really responded tonight. I mean, they came out here. You knew it was going to be a hostile environment. You knew Radford as one of the top teams in the conference, undefeated at home. And so it's like you knew a lot of things were stacked against you. The guys jumped out, uh, did a real good job uh, defensively, and, and then offensively were really kind of clicking in the first half. And uh, a lot of guys getting involved against some tough assignments. Yeah, and, and – offensively kind of go back to that stretch there. I think it was about, what, nine minutes in the second half where the Flames uh, didn't have a field goal and uh, had only three or four field goals by about the five-minute mark to go in the second half for that half alone. Uh, leading scorer tonight for Liberty, it was Lavelle Cabell with 14 points. He was efficient at five of eight. But on the other side, Ed Poli Jr. for Radford, 18 points tonight on seven of seven shooting. And in a game like this, it's tough to, to single out one moment, but something that Coach McKay brought up afterwards, remember the point where Isaiah Williams picked up his third foul? And after that, it seemed like Polite kind of got on a little bit of run. Williams, one of the defensive stoppers for the Flames, not in the ball game. That really hurt Liberty's defense. Yeah, and, you know, what a tough assignment, Garden Ed Polite Jr. What a great player, one of the top players in this conference. Um, Multi-versatile, you know, and so that, that, that makes it tough. The matchup is tough because – in the post, and you saw him getting uh, a lot of touches down here on the block or a few steps off. So you need a guy that's strong and big. So Zay was matching up with him and doing a good job. But if he gets in foul trouble, you know, it's like, what do you do? Should you go with uh, a smaller guy? Because you saw Polite able to step out, catch it at the arc, and then go off the dribble. So, mm -hmm. you know, how do you play him? Do you play him smaller and quicker or bigger uh, and, and stronger? So, you know, and Coach mis mixed up some different guys on him. You know, uh, Zay was on him for most of the night, but we saw Caleb Holmesley pick him up. But it's just a, such a tough assignment. And then when, when Zay had to sit with fouls, polite, that meant his eyes just kind of lit up. And he just, and all night long, just he made some big plays. It's a tough assignment. But credit Liberty. I mean, they just never gave up, battled him. Uh, battled the other bigs, uh, their guards kind of, you know, there was a game of runs. I mean, Liberty finishes the first half to take the lead. Shots are falling. The offense is looking good. It was a 12-0 run there. Yeah, 12-0 the the and, and then Radford comes out, and, and again, that's that's kind of a, we, you know, last year we saw it. Liberty had that huge lead at halftime. Right. You just yeah. know Radford's going to come out of that locker room at halftime, and they're going to jump all of over you defensively. And so they, they did that, and, and it kind of put – us back on our heels a little bit. They closed the gap, put out a little five-point lead there midway through the second half. But, again, credit Liberty just dig dig down deep, and they, they make some big shots. Uh, Ryan Kemright had a couple big Ryan shots Ryan Kemright hit a couple half. big Lavelle threes. Cabell, Lavelle yeah. getting to the, to the rim. And then Georgie, obviously, at the end. And then the biggest one to send it to OT. Georgie, huge shot right there. So, I mean, I, I was really, uh, you know, it was a fun game to call. You hate to see Liberty come up short, but I really like the mindset that Liberty had. They're playing harder, giving the effort that they need, and so you come up a little bit short, but there was a lot of good things to glean out of this one. Yeah, you talk about the second-half effort from Radford on offense. They went from shooting 32% in the first half to 55% in the second half. That was a huge difference. After the ball game, we had a chance to get down in the locker room, catch up with head coach Richie McKay and some of the Flames after the loss. Uh, you know, I trust Georgie. I think when he's got the ball in his hands, uh, good things happen for our team. So uh, if he saw something like 
uh, he's got the freedom to do that. I said, if you don't, call timeout. If you do, go with it. I thought we were very hurried. I thought we were very rushed. Um, it's a very low number of assists, which continues to be the theme for us. Um, so until that gets righted, then we, we go, we'll, have to, we'll have to make some adjustments. Uh, our guys are always going to give effort. We have high character in our group. And, uh, you know, to come into Radford and uh, try and get a win, I think they've beaten Asheville and Winthrop here and now us. So they, they've got uh, three of the teams that were predicted near the, the top in the preseason. They got them all at home, and they did what you got to do if you're going to contend for the title. Let's win at home. Are we just looking to get it out the room and push it? Uh, they ended up missing a free throw. Uh, we got it out, gave it to Georgie. He just hit one before that, so we put the ball in his hands. So I want to make a play and just didn't go in our direction that time. Uh, Tanner hit a couple of big threes, got them back in the game. Uh, they got some offensive rebounds. I know we held them to zero in the first half. They got a lot more in the second half. So I think when they came out in the end, they just out toughed us and they was able to win like that. I mean, props to Radford, and it's hard to win here in front of their home crowd. And we got to lock in on defense. We got to take good shots on offense, make the other team work. And uh, that's something that we're going to continually improve on. I mean, it's just so early in the conference play. We still have a long way to go and a lot of work to do. 59-57, the final score here tonight in overtime. Radford wins it over Liberty. The Flames now fall to one and two in overtime games here this year. Well, Paul, they're going to stay on the road here this week. Liberty heading down to the Millis Center, High Point, North Carolina, to take on those High Point Panthers. And very tough place to play. Always challenging down there. The, uh, the students bring it, the lights, the music, all, all of those <laughs> things that kind of go into it. Uh, what do the Flames have to do to regroup? Well, again, you got to put this behind you real quick. There's a quick turnaround. Again, you come off back-to-back -back losses. The only thing you can do is dig down deeper, work harder. You know, again, pre prepare yourself to commit uh, defensively. Uh, the coaches will have a great game plan going down there at a high point. But, you know, you can't start, feel sorry for yourself. You just got to pick yourself up, get ready to go down there and battle. Um, Again, we're seeing scores, you know, uh, Longwood beats Campbell tonight. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's like this, this league is going to be like that, I think, all year long. So put put the loss behind you. You're still alive and, and well. you got to go down there and get a win. And High Point getting a win tonight as well. So they will be hungry for more yeah. at home coming up on Thursday night. Liberty and High Point, 7 o'clock in the Miller Center on Thursday. Until then, final score here tonight in Radford. It is Radford 59 Liberty 57 in overtime. For Paul Naz, again, my name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flame Sports Network.